I should have left for work 30 minutes ago, which I did. But when I left, I got in my car, my ABS light was on, which for those who don't know vehicles, it's the automatic brake system. I read about it and it said that it's okay to drive with it on, but just be careful. Well, okay, well, I'm driving down to Elk. We'll see. And it's raining, which it's already hard enough to stop in rain, let alone with an ABS problem. But when I took off, I couldn't stop. Not like stepping on the brake and I'm not changing speed. It, it didn't stop like brakes should stop. All it did was cut the speed down slowly to zero. I, there's no way that I could drive to Elk and have to prepare myself to stop from 30 all the way down to zero without knowing just my calculation. So I came back, which was exciting, especially going around corners because I'm used to stepping on my brake when I go around corners, but oh no, I'm not stopping. I'm gonna call my dad at eight to see if he can come at noon and we can pick up some brake fluid. Hopefully that's the problem. I don't know, we'll see. And I just noticed something. All night, my bedroom light was on. This is such a process, and it's cold. I'm gonna check my brake fluid. I hate being responsible. It sucks. Oh, it's raining. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Oh, my hands are so dirty. There it is. How do I open it? It, it has a wire connected to it. I'm just gonna break in this car. Hope it doesn't fall. It's completely full. Completely full. That means that it's the computer. Alright. I might be out of work for a while until I get this thing fixed because I can't drive it. That's no way. Alright, talk to you later. I wasn't filming. I had this wonderful speech and I wasn't filming. I can't recreate that. So as I said in the previous clip, the brake fluid is completely full. Which means that it's probably the computer. Hopefully it's just the computer and not the brake pads because that's a pain to fix and expensive. It's a thousand dollars or more. Roughly a thousand dollars is what they say the brake pads are. I have the money to get those fixed. I just don't like using my savings, which is exactly what my savings are for. Emergencies. But I was hoping to have more money in my savings before actually having an emergency. Now what I was saying that really intrigues me is how much I have grown. I don't have any anxiety. I have no anxiety about this. If this was the old Bethany from the old videos, I would probably be rocking on the floor back and forth and sucking my thumb, which I'm not going to do that because my hands are completely filthy. That's disgusting. I'm starting to notice that there's a pattern with my clothing. It's either a gray scrub top or an orange sweater. Don't judge. Now I have to do a lot more than just whatever. I have to call a tow truck because I, I, I can't drive out. I'm not going to risk my car getting damaged by driving, so I have to call my, that is not my insurance, that is my CNA license, there it is, there's roadside assistance, alright, I don't like doing things out of my comfort zone, it's not anxiety, but it is a form of anxiety because it spawns from it, but I'm not letting it control me, I have to call roadside assistance, but I don't need a tow truck until tomorrow. So like, I feel like I'm like annoying them by saying, hey, I know I'm calling it out, wasting your time, but I need a tow truck tomorrow. Thank goodness they have like my insurance on a mobile app, so I'm, I'm gonna see if I can actually be less inconvenient to them. I don't know, I'm so, I'm so weird. Am I weird? Slurpy, I got my tow truck set up. I got my roadside assistance. The, I wanted the guy to show up between 9 and 9.30. They changed it to 8.30 to 9.30. So I'm hoping that maybe he doesn't show up at 8.30 because then my car will be sitting out there forever waiting to be seen by the people at, you know, the 
ways. I'm doing nothing. I'm not going to work. It feels really weird not working. Like, you can tell when it's Saturday versus Monday. It just feels... Oh. I want to clarify that yesterday was the 22nd, not the 21st, which means today is the 23rd, which is the last day of February. This year is already going by so fast. As most of you guys, if you guys watched the first part of this video, I'm getting a tow truck sent to my place of existence. They're going to pick my car up and take it to a car shop of my choice, and they're going to fix the ABS. I am a bit weary about the process because you know how sometimes when you think something is over complicated like getting a tow truck to your house having them sent to a certain location at a certain time and then it turns out to be so easy it almost comes across as a front to me that it's only going to lead to problems and the reason why i'm saying this is because when i had my previous car which was a ford focus but it was a sedan i got into a wreck and I had my car towed from location of the wreck, which wasn't my fault, we've been over it, and they took it to one location. My insurance was paying for the lot space at a different car place location. So I was getting billed for the use of their parking space, and the place of business didn't know what they were supposed to do with the car. They thought it was just going to be there to... I don't know why they didn't know. I mean, it was pretty busted. I'm sure they would think, oh, I should estimate this. But it just sat in a lot. And my insurance was like, we don't know why you're not getting your numbers back. And so I called the place that they sent it to. And they go, we don't have it. Then I called the other place and they go, we don't have it anymore. We sent it to a tow yard because it was in our spot. So now I had a tow yard bill. And then my insurance was like, we will, we will pay for everything. They finally sent my car to the right place. This was probably at least two weeks. I wouldn't say three, but at least two weeks after the wreck. And I needed my estimate because it was totaled and I needed my estimate so I could use the money after selling it to my insurance to get a new car. But I couldn't because... I didn't have the estimate. So I am a little bit wary about where my car will go. I know I don't want to lose it. I didn't have any temptation today for one reason. My car was on my mind. My car was on my mind all day, not in an anxious way. It was more of a diversion. All right, you guys, um, this is the end of the video. Gosh, four minutes of me just yapping. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye.